What's up everybody? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, you can see that I'm going to be showing you guys how I dye my eyebrows and the product that I use to dye my eyebrows. So I've got no product on them right now. They're not filled in at all. I actually think I look kind of goofy um, without my eyebrows filled in. But anyways, um, I figured it would be a perfect time to film this video because I need to dye them again. I get my eyebrows microbladed actually. I paid $450 when I got them done the first time and then after that when you need touch-ups, I believe it's $100 or $125, something like that for touch-ups. So altogether, I've probably invested close to $700 on my brows. Now, it's totally worth it. Microblading is awesome, but it fades really quick on my eyebrows because I have pretty oily skin. Well, my T-zone is pretty oily. So if you have oily skin, it will fade quicker than someone who has more dry skin. So um, I can't really afford to get them touched up as often as I would like. And that is why in between touch-ups, I dye my eyebrows. So that way they are darker, which is just the way that I like them. So if you're like me and you have really fair eyebrows, you might be interested in this, especially if you're like balling on a budget and you can't swing. $450 to get the microbladed so I'm just gonna go ahead and jump right in and show you guys what I use to dye them this is the product right here this is the just for men um, mustache and beard stuff basically it's intended for men who are getting grays in their mustache or their beard and they can dye it to cover the grays up but a lot of people use this to dye their eyebrows with um, and it works really well for me i use the shade medium dark brown there's a pretty wide variety of colors they have really light ones and then i think it goes as dark as black so you can totally pick whichever color you think would suit you best it does come with instructions and a few little things i'm not going to read the instructions for the sake of the video but if you were to try this at home i would recommend that you do just to be safe it basically comes with two tubes of product that i will be showing you how i use in just a little bit and then it comes with a tray to mix everything up in I have a brush that I use strictly for dyeing my eyebrows, so I don't use this for anything else anymore. It's an angled brush, so if you are going to do this at home, I do recommend just getting an inexpensive angled eyebrow brush that you can use just for dyeing your brows with. So what I'm gonna do is just take one of the tubes and I'm gonna squeeze a drop about that big. You really don't need a lot at all because you're literally just dyeing your eyebrows. And you wanna take equal parts of each product. So I'm gonna do another drop of the other product, trying to make it the same size. And that's literally it. Now I'm going to mix them together. Okay, so I've got it all mixed up here. Before I actually start applying it, I just wanna say that because um, I've watched videos on this before when I was just interested in learning how to dye my brows. Some people will take Vaseline and apply it directly above and below their eyebrows because they don't want to get this product on their skin. I personally don't do that because, I mean, if I do get a lot on my skin, I'll just take a Q-tip and wipe it off. But if it gets on my skin, to me it's not a big deal because literally the first couple of times that you wash your face after you do this, it will come off of your skin. So it's definitely not permanent, but if you are worried about that and you don't want it to stain your skin a little bit, then you can either put some petroleum jelly or Vaseline above and below your eyebrows or just take a Q-tip when you're done and wipe off any excess that got on your skin. So the way that I do this, I literally just act as if I'm filling in my eyebrows with product. So I like to start at the arch of my brow and work my way towards the tail end. And then once that's all filled in, I come and do the front. The reason is because I prefer more of an ombre eyebrow look. So the less time that the product spends on the front of my brow, the lighter it will be, and then it'll be darker towards the end, if that makes any sense to you. So I'm gonna go ahead and start applying this product. Again, I'm gonna do it just like I'm filling in my brows. OK, 
Okay, so I have the product in my right eyebrow. You can't really tell yet, but once it starts to dry a little bit more, it's gonna look really crazy. It's gonna look a hot mess. My eyebrows are gonna look really like caterpillar-esque, but um, when you rinse it off, it goes away. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my left eyebrow real quick. Okay, so I just applied the product to both of my eyebrows. Um, I wait about five to seven minutes before I go and rinse this off. That seems to be a good time for me. If this is your first time doing this, I would recommend that you do maybe three or four minutes. And then if you rinse it off and you realize that you would have liked it to turn out a little bit darker, you can, the next time you do it, just leave it on for a couple extra minutes until you found out a time that works really good for you but five to seven minutes works really good for me. So as you can see right now, it's starting to get kind of dark. It looks a little strange, but like I said, that all washes off. Um, I'm gonna get ready to go wash it off in just a minute here, but I will say that I remember when I read the instructions, it mentioned that you should use shampoo instead of soap to wash this off because it really gets all the residue and the product off of your brows and doesn't leave any behind on your skin or anything like that. So I go into the bathroom and I take maybe a dime size or less of shampoo. I just rub it between my fingers. I put my face down in the sink and just massage my eyebrows until all the product is off and then pat them dry and then you're done. So I am going to go rinse these in just a minute and then I'll be back to show you what they look like when it's all finished. Okay, I just got back from the bathroom. I rinsed all of the product off. Like I said, I just took a little bit of shampoo on my fingers and massaged it into my brows and then rinsed it. And this is the final result. I like to take a little spoolie brush and just brush through them to really see how they look when they're nice and tamed. Um, I love it. I love waking up in the morning when I have no makeup on and having my brows nice and dark. I just feel so much better, so much more confident. So yeah, I will try to, somewhere on the screen here, insert a before picture so you can actually see the difference that it makes. Um, this usually lasts me anywhere from one to two weeks. Again, because I have oily skin, things fade on my skin quicker. So some people will be able to do this and it'll last for three weeks, maybe a month. I'm not quite that fortunate, but it's really not too much of a hassle to do it every week or every two weeks. It takes no more than 10 minutes from start to finish. So it's totally worth it. I'm not sure if I mentioned the price of this. Um, if I did, I'm gonna repeat myself, but it's about eight or nine dollars i believe and i just get mine from walmart you can get it from target pretty much any drugstore and one box of this will last you a long time because like i said i've been dyeing my brows for quite a few months now and i'm not even halfway through these tubes of product yet you only need such a little bit each time so your money goes a long way so I hope that you guys enjoyed this and that it was informative and if you have any other questions about how I do this or anything just let me know. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I will see you all in my next video.